Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. So today in this video, we're embarking on a fiber fuel adventure into the heart of connectivity. So picture this, a network not only just fast, but fiber fast, linking multiple switches together in a symphony of data. So buckle up as we unravel the secrets of connecting a fiber switch to not just one, but multiple fiber PoE switches. So understanding the need for fiber optic connection is crucial in the context of high-speed, low-latency communication. Fiber optic cables offer several advantages, including rapid data transfer, minimal signal degradation, and immunity to electromagnetic interference. In scenario where connecting switches is paramount, fiber optic cables excel in delivering consistent and reliable performance. And the dedicated nature of fiber optic connection ensures that switches can communicate seamlessly, making them ideal for application requiring real-time data transmission, such as in critical infrastructure, data centers, and advanced networking setup. So in a fiber optic network setup, both fiber switches and fiber PoE switches play a crucial role. A fiber switch is designed to facilitate communication between devices using fiber optic cables, ensuring high speed and reliable data transmission. On the other hand, a fiber PoE switch combines the capabilities of a fiber switch with the added advantage of delivering power to connected devices, such as IP cameras or access points over the same cable. And these switches are equipped with features like multiple ports, high bandwidth, and making them essential components for a network demanding both speed and power. And when selecting fiber optic cables for connected switches, several factors should be considered to ensure optimal performance. Firstly, Choose the right cable type based on the network requirement. Single mode fiber for longer distances and higher bandwidth, and multi mode fiber for shorter distances. And pay attention to the connector, ensuring compatibility with the switch and other network components. Additionally, consider the specific application need, such as data transfer rate and environmental conditions. And by carefully choosing the fiber optic cable, you can enhance the reliability and efficiency of your network connection between the switches. So now I'm going to introduce you to some of our fiber switch and fiber PoE switch. This one right here is our 8-port SFP fiber switch. It allows you to finish fiber connectivity that is with different bandwidth requirement conveniently and cost saving. It allows you to interconnect up to 8 SFP modules of different or similar SFP module to reach long distances fiber optic link, and including SC or LC fiber type. And with the gigabit uplink port, this switch can uplink to backbone or high capacity service. And this one right here is our 8 port WebSmart PoE switch with 2 gigabit SFP. It suits enterprise network to build a secure PoE system with central management on power and data to supply various IP devices. And it's compliant with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard, provide up to 30 watts of power per port and a 120 watts total power budget. Last but not least, we have our 16-port 90 watts managed PoE switch with 4 SFP. You can utilize this managed switch for any application that requires accurate control, high-level security, and equipped with 16 PoE 1000 megabit per second RJ45 port, and a 2 gigabit combo port and one console port for flexible installation. And it is compliant with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. The switch can supply up to 30 watts or 90 watts output power per port. And it is loaded with powerful traffic management and QoS feature to enhance connection for workgroups, office lands, or enterprise network applications.
So this is our setup for today. As you can see, we are connecting to multiple PoE switches. So let's do it from the beginning. Over here, we can see the monitor, the router, and a network video recorder. They're connected together. And I'm going to use an Ethernet cable to connect our router to the fiber switch first to provide data. Let's plug it in. And we'll need to plug in the SFP transceiver since this is where we connect with our fiber optic cable. So plug in to our SFP slot. And over here we have a full strength fiber optic cable and it's already pre-mated so we don't need to worry about the connector. And on each string it has a label on it. Make sure you match the labels with the port. So this is string A and this is string B. Today we are using two string A and B. Coming over here we have a 300 meters fiber optic cable and we're going to connect to two different switches that I just introduced. Let me plug in the SFP transceiver for each switch. And remember we use string A and B. So let's plug in string A and string B for this one. So as you can see, they are already connected. And then I'm going to use two Ethernet cable, one for the wireless SS point, and one for our PDZ camera. So you can see our PDZ camera and wireless SS point are getting the power and data that they need and now let me show you the video footage on our monitor. Oh, it's already on. And you can see this is absolutely a live video. So the whole connection is done. And a managed fiber network switch adds an extra layer of control and optimization to your network infrastructure. These switches come equipped with advanced management features that allow administrators to monitor, configure, and optimize network settings. With capabilities such as VLAN support, quality of service QoS, prioritization, and remote management, a managed fiber network switch provides the flexibility and control needed to tailor your network to specific requirements. And you can consider integrating a managed fiber network switch to enhance your fiber optic connection. And here's some of our switch. We have an A plus A port managed fiber Ethernet switch with 1 gigabit per second of link, and also 16 plus A port managed fiber Ethernet switch with 1 gigabit per second uplink available. So implementing link aggregation, LACP, can significantly improve network performance by enhancing bandwidth and providing redundancy. If your switches support link aggregation, configure it correctly on both ends of the aggregated link to ensure optimal results. And for outdoor installation, up for outdoor rated devices designed to withstand environmental exposure. These devices often exhibit higher resistance to moisture and temperature variation, ensuring reliable performance in challenging outdoor conditions. And considering these tips to optimize your fiber optic connection between the switches, promoting a robust and resilient network setup, and congratulations, you've just expanded your network by connecting multiple switches with fiber optic cables. And thank you very much for joining us. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorial. And experience the power of seamless communication.